Hello everyone, welcome to my first part of the Pretty Little Liars cocktail series. I'm going to do a Aria cocktail, an Emily cocktail, Spencer and Hannah. So each main girl is going to have their own cocktail. So for my setup today, I just have a pretty tray that I got from Target. It's just a decorative tray. It kind of reminded me just of pretty decor that I see on the show. And then under the tray I have all of the Pretty Little Liars books. And then here's the DVD of the first season, which I just finished watching recently. So let's get right into the cocktail. First we're going to start with Big Blue. And this has sea salt, lemon, lavender, and seaweed. It really helps clear your mind. It's a really good spa-like smell. I love Big Blue. It's one of my favorites. And the reason I thought this would be good for Aria is because at the beginning of the book series and at the beginning of the show, she's moving back from Iceland where she's been living for a few years because of her father's job. And Iceland is known for all of their sea resources that they have. It's a really big um, like fishing country and things like that. So I thought that something inspired by the ocean would be nice for the bath bomb. And then this is kind of different. I was trying to think of not doing everything so predictable for this. So I have a Mondo Pondo, which is rose, lemon, and orange. I thought that the citrus in this would blend well with the big blue and I just did a scent test with them and it does smell lovely because this has enough sweetness to it with the lemon and orange that it's going to cocktail really nice together. Um, and the reason I chose Amando Pondo was because they live in Rosewood and Rosewood High is where Ezra works, uh, Mr. Fitz the teacher that Aria ends up having um, the secret relationship with. So, yeah, I'm really excited to try this. I've never actually used a Mondo Pondo, so it will be a first for me, and I'm really excited about that. Then we have Floating Island. This is a very light floating island. Usually, mine are darker, like a tan color. But this is sandalwood oil and lemon, and it's a great treat for a weekend bath is what it says on the website and I just thought it would be good to use because I think that Aria was kind of feeling like a floating island just really lonely whenever she gets back until A brings all the girls back together again then for soap we're gonna use sea vegetable because it has lavender and lime in it and I thought it would mix really well with big blue I want to talk about this chunk of soap actually for a second. As you can tell, this soap kind of looks old, and it's not. As well, I didn't think it was old. I got this at a Lush store in Dallas for my husband for Christmas when we were out of town there for a wedding, and I got a cut of soap that was already pre-cut, and so who knows how long that had been cut sitting there. So this is just a word to the wise to always have them freshly cut your soap. Don't feel bad about asking them to do that. Even if they're busy, they're not, they don't mind doing that at all. So, because otherwise you end up with soap sometimes that looks like this, where it looks really old, and it's just quite not as fresh and fragrant anymore. So, next time I get him see vegetable, I will make sure that I get it freshly cut. Then for the shower jelly, we have Calacus, which was for Day of the Dead this year. And this is actually from the freezer. I freeze all of my shower jellies. And it has like a lime and lemon smell. Let's see if it says anything else. No. Um, and it came in the shape of a skeleton head, but I cut it up into chunks like I do with all my jellies. So it just looks like this. And I thought that would be good just because it was for Day of the Dead and kind of the whole storyline with how Allison was killed and things like that. I thought that would be a fun little tie. Next we have Cynthia Sylvia Stout. And this is definitely a scent you have to get used to to start liking it. It has stout in it, cognac, and lemon. 
And I just thought that would be good because whenever Arya met Ezra at the bar, she ordered a beer first, but then decided that it didn't taste as good as the beer in Iceland. So, thought that would be a fun little tie. And I'm actually going to mix some of the big shampoo in with it. I like to do that with shampoos. I think that's always really fun. And big shampoo just really smells like a margarita. And it'll give lots of volume, which I think... Um, Lucy Hale, the actress that plays Aria, has a lot of volume to her hair. It's, it's really big and voluptuous, and so I thought that that would be a good way to get big hair, like the actress that plays Aria. Then we're going to finish with Veganese that has lemon and lavender in it, just because it will kind of go with everything else. There really wasn't a tie to Pretty Little Liars with that one. Then I'm going to be using the Love Lettuce Face Mask because it does have that little bit of the sea smell and it has lavender in it and almond oil. Then to finish up I thought I would tie to the rose again, rosewood. And this has cocoa butter, kapakua or something like that, butter, almond oil and argan oils. Um, on the website, they suggest to use it before you go to sleep. It's just so luxurious. I love this so much. It's one of my favorite of their new products. And I think the actress that plays Aria, her two really good qualities are her hair and her lips. And so, I thought we could use a lip scrub. The powwow one is really good. It's made of pop rocks. It has spinach in there too. kind of has a lime taste to it. But I thought that would be good to make our lips soft and smooth. And then we can finish with the new Latte Lip Tint. So there is my Aria inspired Pretty Little Liars cocktail. Please tell me if you try this or if you have any other suggestions for cocktail series or cocktail ideas. I have a few new things I'm, I've already planned that will be coming out in the next week or so. Okay, so now we're in the tub to put together Aria's cocktail. I forgot to tell you guys that I am using the Scentsy Just Breathe bar tonight. It smells very spot-like, so it's very eucalyptus-y, and um, there's probably some lavender in there. It's very refreshing and very mind-clearing. So, let me drop Floating Island. This is actually just a fourth. That's all I'm going to use. In big blue. So this is what it looks like once it begins to disintegrate. All the seaweed poking out. But it's not rough at all by any means. It's really soft. And then we have half of the Amando Fondo, which has some, a very citrusy note and then like an undertone of rose, I think. So definitely putting it with Big Blue will bring out probably more of the lemon and orange. Okay, everything's pretty much done fizzing and the Amando Pondo bits have risen back up to the top. So we'll hit the jets. Okay, so it's all done. This smells amazing. It has a really, really nice spa-like smell where it has lots of herbal smells like the lavender and lemon and orange and a little bit of rose but the combination together makes me feel like this would be a great bath if you ever have a headache or a migraine which I get migraines so this will be a great bath for me whenever I do have a migraine so I hope you enjoyed this Aria inspired Pretty Little Liars cocktail let me know if you try it and what you think have a great night guys